Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back in the winter of uh, Workers and Resources Soviet Republic and I was thinking those are the clouds there for a moment but I think that's possibly just pollution which is brilliant. Uh, I love a bit of pollution in the morning, can't uh, can't do finer. Uh, anyway, the uh, the oil train here is it's heading for the border because uh, somehow last time around I inadvertently got it loaded with fuel and now nothing's happening. So, uh, so I'm, I'm going to wang it up the border and flog what I've got on board and then, uh, then hopefully in the future we won't have this situation but obviously, you know, me being me can't rule things out. Well there you go, it's a monumentous moment, a monumental monumentous moment where uh, we've actually made some money at that first time. First, first time making anything at all. Why are we... What's, what's, oh, I see, that's the current value of cargo. That's okay. No, it's, I thought I was earning both rubles and dollars at the same time there, but no, no, that's no, okay. I'm just mis misreading the situation. Anyway, um, since you were last here, I built uh, heat exchanges and all that kind of business. I kind of fumbled my way through it because it's not exactly big on giving you any kind of a hint as to what you're supposed to be doing. But uh, I figured it out because uh, I've got an IQ similar to that of a hamster, so I managed to get that sorted, uh, which is... Which is all good. I've also stopped the train loading at the uh, at the diesel station. It now just goes there, and I'm hoping that in the event that it wants some diesel, it's just going to help itself. If it, if it doesn't help itself, it's going to run out of fuel at some point, and uh, and I'll be slightly nonplussed as to why that might be the case. Regardless, it's uh, it's all fun, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. I think I think so. Um, I, it, I'm going to push the get a wriggle on button so that it gets a wriggle on. Because uh, I want to follow this for the entire the entire duration, rather than building a second train to export. Someone suggested this when I first built it. Just send the train to the to the border and do that as well. Might as well until the uh, until the number of resources you're generating is uh, is up to tempo a little bit. But no, I'm just I'm just enjoying my train running through the snow. Uh, I mean, we're running at an implausible speed right now, but that's not the point. The point. Is, what do you do? No, stop. I was enjoying that until you started doing the hokey cokey. Now pack it in. Right, here we are. Yeah, just just rattling away there. And it's it's particularly good when you reach the bit that I've actually smoothed out. Aren't I? I mean, we're just going to soak it in for a moment. Because uh, cause why wouldn't you? And uh, You know, all, all the crossings going off and mowing people down and all of that kind of business. It's top weasel. Bit of a lump there, but ass. It's only a little lump. It's not so bad. Uh, yeah. The, now the one shortcoming in doing it this way is that the uh, uh, the way that the track is configured is that the the line out to the oil wells and the line out to the border are separate when they arrive at the uh, at the fuel depot. So you, we have to pull a bit of a special maneuver to get that to work. And if you, you give me a mo, I'll show you the special maneuver. Uh, there we go. He's got. Well, hang on. He's going to spend the next fifteen minutes loading, isn't he? Uh, ambulances haven't arrived. Well, I I can't help that. That's nothing. There's nothing I can do about that. You've got a hospital. It's a perfectly good hospital. You should be fine with it. There shouldn't be a problem for you there in the slightest. I've I've done everything I possibly can. It's up to you to now execute against that. I mean, I I bought. In fact, I might have to go. This may end up being a. I just watch stuff that's happened so far while we went for wait for winter to to shuffle along, so we can we can make some progress when we're not in a snowy wonderland. Build a ski slope. That's what I should be doing. I should be building some sort of skiing destination. Maybe we could be draining Soviet super agents uh, who need to learn how to ski and fire machine guns at the same time. Ideally, while dodging a helicopter. Um, if James Bond taught me anything at all, it was that, and how to make a weak martini. Um, but anyway, I digress, as is so often the case. Sorry, James Bond was always fighting the Russians, or, you know, some clown who just wanted to see it all burn. Like Batman. I don't think Batman ever wanted to see it all burn. No. You're really on a digression kick today, aren't you? Although I'm feeling a little bit because I want to watch this do its thing. And uh, and because uh, I think it will be worthwhile, you could just edit to that point. Yeah, but then you lose the the narrative flow. All right, whatever. Uh, right, so we're unloading, which is good because that's what it's supposed to do. 
Uh, now, the, the thing that I actually have to solve at some point is we're going to have fuel in this one, yeah, and then uh, we've got bitumen finally in there. In my defense, store this item, right? It might seem obvious that store this item means store that item, but the way that I read that was store this item as keep hold of it and don't ship it. I've always read it that way. Uh, I've always I've always taken that to mean do not let any of this out of the pro out of the premises. So when I was fumbling around last time to try and figure out how to get different fluids into different containers, it wasn't that I'd completely missed to see store this item. It was that I've always operated under the premise of that means you don't let any of that item actually leave. I know. I'm not saying it's logical. I'm just saying that's the uh, that's the state of affairs. How's your fuel? You haven't bothered topping up. This bothers me. Anyway, here's the uh, here's the wacky manoeuvre we're about to pull. You'll see you're going... No, you're going to the border, mate. He's not actually carrying anything. Um, but, you know, that's, that's good. And it's because what he has to do is he comes out of here, having come in on this inner loop. Uh, he'll then move over to the uh, to the, the fuel station and then turn around at the fuel station, go out on the loop and then come back in on the other side of the loop and then head out again. It's quite elegant, really, but wrong. And uh, and obviously, it's not going to work as time presses forwards. Either way, if we're going to continue sending you out to the border, we might as well send you with stuff. Come, come here. There you go. Do I need to tell it to pick stuff up at the diesel station? No, I don't. It should know if, especially if it's short on fuel, it should go. Ah, oh, I'll, uh, I'll grab some, I'll grab some fuel, shall I? And you kind of go, yeah, I think that's, that's probably a good idea. No, no, not there. Uh, this one, right? Wait until you're unloaded on that lot, and then uh, grab oil and bitumen. I, I don't know how that's going to work if it's got two fluids to choose from. It will probably choose whichever one it wants to first and then the other one it will leave alone. And then theoretically at some point we'll have an empty tank and uh, and then it will start emptying the other one. Don't know. We'll find out. Right, I should build something. So how's the population hanging on in there? They were, they were very cold for a little while. They're hacked off at the moment because they can't do any sport. And you go, well, it's winter. Uh, you're missing kindergarten places, yeah, and uh, you're missing kindergarten places and culture. Well, the cinema's just up there. Look, you can you can go up. No one lives in that one. Curious. Uh, one worker hasn't got a job. Equally curious. All right. Well, I could I could sling up another kindergarten, I suppose. Uh, the school's coming along fine, except for the fact that I've only got one teacher. Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm hanging quite a lot of hope on the on the farming situation, but obviously that's not going to do anything until the new year. That, there's an ambulance, look. Right, ambulance is not a rud. I literally just saw an ambulance in motion, so it's not that the ambulances don't work. Maybe I just lack ambulance drivers. That doesn't seem likely, does it? Um, does it? Doesn't say that likely, does it? I don't know. But look, look, there goes another one. I don't know how they can gripe about the ambulances not arriving when ambulances very much are a thing and we deploy them. Now, the thing with the ambulances not arriving... Yeah, I know, I've, 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 lost, uh, I've lost whatever it was I was talking about before and we're now on to troubleshooting ambulances. No, no, I was about to say it's always because it's, they're trying to get to a building that hasn't... The, the, the same building, it was always this one in the past... But that doesn't seem to be a problem now. And it shouldn't have been a problem then. I'm just going to assume that my ambulance drivers aren't necessarily the uh, the most pacey individuals in the world. And we'll, we'll assume that that's the, that's the problem. Right, so, progress. What are we going to... What are we... What are we going to build? Well, just pick something you like the sounds of. Um, and yeah, all right. Crops and foods related. We're, we're working in that direction at the moment. Now, a distillery isn't a terrible idea. But again, I don't think you're going to be bringing in enough crops as it is. I think stick to just food right now uh, and see how we get on. And obviously, if you've got a load of grain left over, then, uh, then that's good. 
Well, in which case, we're looking for another type of another type of industry. What about a bit of logging up the top of the mountain? You're calling that a mountain? All right, at the top of the hill. But then, uh, how about a bit of how about a bit of logging? In fact, you've even set it up so you've got this that could uh, that could support a little bit more. All right, let's let's run. Let's just, I've I've committed to this as a plan now. Uh, let's run with the gravel road because all logging industries go up a gravel road, don't they? I mean, that's that's just flaming obvious. Uh, right, yeah, whack this up here. Uh, and for once, I'm not too bothered if it's lumpy. I will try and keep it straight if at all possible, but lumpy, I'm not too bothered. Right. Okay. Cool. Well, there's a there's a thing that's happened. Uh, right. Let's uh, let's go find logging, logging trees, logging. Yeah, various. It might be under various. So you go wood cutting post and a sawmill. Well, a sawmill doesn't need to be up here necessarily, but the logging outpost most definitely does. It needs flat terrain. Well, I'm building you on a on a hillside. I mean, you, there's not there's not that much I could do for you there. I'll have to bring out the army o bulldozer and uh, and get job done. All right, go on in. Doesn't appear to want to. There you are, that's it. There you are. Go on, go on, fellas. What am I? What are you actually doing? It's terrain smooth? No, no, no. We want uh, we want height from center, please. That's the that's the thing we need. Uh, that that will then give us a little bit of uh, a little bit of operational facility. And try not to knock down too many trees. Arguably, at this stage, the bulldozers are doing the kind of job that I'm hoping my lumberjacks get up to in a moment. But they will make money, whereas the bulldozers do not. Right, need flat terrain. You've got it. I've just been flattening the terrain. No, you've been levelling the terrain. Yes. Ah, no, that's not the same thing at all. Is it not? Do it. Right, we've got our log cutting post. Peachy keen. Um... And then we're going to want uh, the ability, well, a uh, fabric factory. You need fabric, which is crops, chemicals, and oh, I don't mind. No, 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 that's, that's outside our capabilities right now. The sawmill just needs uh, wood and power. Okay, well, I'm, I, I'm, quite, I'm quite happy to, uh, to rock with that as a, as a concept. Uh, where shall I put this in order to actually get a workforce of any kind? Alongside the rail track? I'm I'm reluctant to do so, I'll be honest. Well, you could come down here and maybe maybe slap it in about there. Yes. You haven't actually smoothed this bit. You sure? Turn the turn the wireframe on. Yes, I'm entirely sure. I thought I did. No, I think you smoothed I think you smoothed just enough to uh, to let the rail track do its bit. Alright, well I'm gonna have trouble getting flaming workers out here. Nah, you've got some over there. Look, they'll they'll uh, they'll trundle along as long as they've not given them instructions to only work in the oil refinery, which I think I might have done. Um, anyway, it's a, that's another adventure that we that we'll get to solve together in a moment. All right? What are you what are you even playing at? I don't know. I just want to see if this road will take at all. Okay. Well, it it, it did appear to take. Yeah, I know, but some clowns put flipping power lines in the way. Okay. Right. Well, get rid of this. Yeah, and then you can't see the power lines anymore, and that helps. Yeah, that's it. There you go. There you go. Let's just just out like that a little bit. Yeah, I'm not thrilled about it. No, I'm not thrilled about it. Could you put a heating station here? Yeah, I did. Is that really the best place for a heating station? Well, I think you can argue. I think you can argue in either direction there, uh, but uh, but I'm going to say yes, it is. Uh, right, get get a built. There you go. Now slap the road back in to get up to the lumber camp. Yeah, you've gone, gone. There you are. Good. Uh, actually, build the rest of the roads. All right. Well, it turned yellow there a moment ago. Is it going to turn yellow again? Only when the mood takes it. Okay. Are you built? Let's say yes, just for the sake of argument. Let's get this one built as well. There you are. That's coming up. And uh, you're going to need some uh, some logging machinery. No, that's fuel. Okay, I'm, I should be I should be providing that myself, but it's okay. Uh, tree fell capacity and open hull. Filter by type tree fell capacity. I don't think that's necessarily the thing, is it? Uh, anyway, the, the U three seven seven logger. 
appears to be the, the piece of kit that we're going to need. These, on the other hand, oh, I see. No, no, no. They all have the they all have the capability, and they all have exactly the same performance characteristics. Well, let's go for this because it looks amazing. All right, good. What do you want? Three of them? Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon three of them will do the trick. Okay, building hasn't got a power supply. I'll sort that. Yeah, you might have also cut the power supply somewhere else. You know, in your uh, in your bulldozing a moment ago. These two do not appear to be speaking with one another anymore. They've evidently had some form of falling out. I think it's more likely they've had some form of falling over. Huh? Yeah? No? Okay. You need workers now to fell the trees. Okay. All right, that's a problem I'll solve in a moment. Uh, but then we'll, we'll, I just want to get the last piece of the puzzle in, in, uh, in operation. And then we'll, we'll go. Uh, you're under various, aren't you, Sawmill? Yeah. If you'd fit on here, it'd be great. Actually, under, do I want to stick it at the end of here? No, because you're going to go further than that. That might be a convenient place to put it, but you're going to block the road. So I should keep the road going a bit longer, that's what you're saying. I think you should. All right, okay, off a trundle. There you go. Right, now, just get it to connect anywhere to there, and you can flatten it out as much as suits your purposes. Yes. You've, you've created quite the indentation there. They're going to have to do quite the journey to go and get uh, the, the trees out of the ground. You genuinely don't understand how lumberjacks work, do you? What do you mean? Well, they don't get them out of the ground, you idiot. They chop them down with, uh, with power tools. With power tools? Golly. Uh, that's, that's jolly exciting. No, you can't stick that there. No, you're not allowed. No, it collides with stuff. Okay. All right. Oh, you could put it that way. You don't necessarily have to be uh, perfect in alignment with the with the road there. Right, well, this is not another job for Team Bulldozer, right? Everything's a job for Team Bulldozer. Go on there, team. Go on, hack it down. If you get a wriggle on while you're at it, would you? I don't want to be here all day. We've got places to be, people to see, and fun things to do. Come on, 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 come on. And I think we're going to need some, a housing estate near here as well, possibly some transportation to get the workers to their point of work. Yes. Yeah, I know. All right, from here. Yeah, keep going. They seem to be reluctant to do anything, Gov. They're just driving around like angry termites. Well, angry termites in 150 grand's worth of machinery. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's still, you know, angry termites nonetheless. Right, give it a try now, see how you feel about life. Feels pretty good about it. Okay, right, good. Now, for your next trick, yeah, I, I haven't really finished the last trick yet, but yeah, carry on. Well, for your next trick, what are you doing with it? Um, I don't know. No, see, that's and that's a problem, is that you, you ought to know what you're doing with it. Uh, also, you can tell that to get constructed. I know I've not got it connected to anything. I wanted the footpath at this end, you see, so that we've got a, a ease of ingress for uh, for potential workers. I'm hoping I can put one uh, one tower up, one one block of flats, and it will be sufficient to uh, to deal with everybody's concerns. But we don't know that, right? Missing resources, missing workers, missing everything to do with the game, then. So I was going to grab some housing residential. Yeah. Let's make this appealing. I'm going to use this 73% instead of the 64 that we usually use. Ambulance hasn't turned up. Stuff the ambulance. Why you how why do you need to be that far from the road? Doesn't make any sense. Just doesn't doesn't make any sense. No sense is being made here, it's particularly by you. You are not making... There you go, that'll do. I'll take it there. Assuming, of course, this flattening goes according to plan, which is by no means... No, no, there you go. You're good. Get it in. Right. They're going to start belly aching real quick fast about not being able to get food, not being able to get sport, not being able to get culture, not being able to get anything. You're making a life that is miserable for these people. Well, I'm doing that for all the people. I, I, you know, they don't get specialist treatment. Uh, everybody gets equal harsh, uh, the harsh treatment here in, uh, in failure grad. That's, that's the thing that occurs. Uh, right. So hook that up to here. Yeah. And then no chance. 
God, I'm sure it'll be fine. You know when I said no chance just now? Yeah, I wasn't joking. All right, okay, good. Go on, bend the corner. It's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. You're on a, you're on a fool's errand. You're going to be bulldozing this any moment. And it'll work. It's not going to work. I'm, I'm thinking switchbacks. You can think whatever you like, but it's just not going to work. It appears to be working, look. Oh, I hate you and everything you stand for. Uh, right, go on, get over there. That's it. Yeah, and then you can wang that round over there. And then people have got a nice leisurely place of employment that they can uh, they can stroll to when it suits them. Of course, none of them are doing that. They're just going straight to the sawmill and kind of go, lads, great job. What? Sawmill. Why? There's no there's nothing doing there at the moment. There's uh, there's no work on. So we sit around all day reading Pravda, drinking vodka and talking about the, the football. Yeah, well done, Dimitri. You've you've thought this through. I, I, I have. I have. I didn't get into this caper to work for a living. No siree, bub. Right, how upset are you? 24 workers without a job. They're not trying hard enough. There's jobs everywhere. There are jobs a pl aplenty, as far as the eye can see. There's, there's an ambulance. It's going to tell me in a moment the ambulance can't do it. Unemployment's too high. I don't care that unemployment's too high. They're, they're state-sponsored. That's, that's a me problem. No, people aren't going to be bummed out by not being employed. I think you'll find people will be perfectly happy to kind of go like, what are you doing for work today? Nothing. Great. The only downside is they haven't got Netflix. So, you know, they're going to be bought or Steam. You know, those two things. That that means that you never really need to go and work if you don't if you don't want to. There's, there's entertainment readily available for you. You can, stay, uh, you can stay locked up in your own darkness for as long as you please. All right, okay, go on, give, give me your list of grievances. Uh, school, kindergarten, someone's sick, they can't get any food. I think of all the things that they're going to miss the most, food will be chief among them. So uh, let's get them a uh, small store. I think you're going to need a small shopping centre. Oh, flipping, that's not small. All right, grocery store, we'll have one of those. There you go, stick this in here. You can't build it due to infrastructure. Look, I, I don't agree with can't build it due to infrastructure. Can't build it due to the fact that it would be on a slope at about 45 degrees. That I find acceptable. All right, so let's, uh, let's do this. Let's bring this up to, uh, up to grade. I've no idea how well I'm doing on, on, on keeping stuff up to grade at the moment because the snow's all over the place and when you start messing around with it, it all turns brown. Um, right, will you? Will you? Yes, you will. Right, good. Bang it in. Uh, now give them a pub what did you just get did you just give them a small store rather than a grocery store uh, please hold yeah I did so they can buy televisions and jeans but not so much on the food yeah you what's your point I'm just saying that you know maybe your priorities are a little bit off kilter okay all right well I'll I'll put them back on kilter over here look and then you're going to shut your noise. Uh, there. Yeah. Actually, this looks small enough. It'll fit in here. No, it won't. Why? Hillside. Large. Otherwise known as infrastructure. Otherwise known as the bane of my existence. All right. Okay. All right. 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 Wait, we'll stick this in here. Go on. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Go. Come on. It's not. It's not a big ask. Auto build, please. Let's just get it flipping. You missed doing the road. Stop. Don't build in anger. It ends poorly. All right, hang on. Let's do a bit of... There's some other infrastructure in a way. Yeah, that's the, that's the, infra the infrastructure I want to connect to. Yeah, you can't. Fine. New kit. Yep. No, I ain't got, I've not got time to play games with you, pal. I'm, I just want it built. There you are. Get in. Can't build due to infrastructure. Which? Which infrastructure exactly? Uh, you appear to have three and a half miles between you and anything. Go on. There you are. Build the flaming thing. Good. Right. Now give them a public house. Uh, one times public house. I'm going to put this down near the sawmill. That way, after a hard day uh, pounding logs. Is that what they do? 
Let's say yes. After a hard day pounding logs, you can go and have a frosty beverage. Alternatively, of course, you could have your frosty beverage before going to pound logs, but then you're just as likely to pound yourself. So I would advise against it, but I can't rule against it. Uh, my people know their own interests best. They are uh, uh, entirely free to choose whatever they feel is the safest course of action for their lives. Because uh, that's the way we roll. And if they happen to die, well, that's one less idiot in the world. Um, right. How are you getting on? You've got a road here that doesn't work. Works now, though, doesn't it? There you are. Oh, we're thawing. It's February. Okay, good. Well, it's February and we're thawing. And, uh, and there's the ambulance picking someone up. And I'll have a message down here about ambulances not picking people up. And you kind of go, well, I... I, just, I, just, I couldn't I couldn't honestly give me the, give me all of them yeah and then tell them all to clear off yeah clear off I don't care um yeah I, I care just enough to try and uh, to try and deliver on your needs but if you're not going to help me out here then frankly we're just gonna have a we're just gonna have a disagreement uh level high from center please bring this up a little bit more I'm gonna stick a kindergarten in here you see that'll That'll make them more chipper, and I'll. Uh, next time, we will put in some some in-town commuting services, which will hopefully lead to a scenario whereby uh, whereby school children can go to school and stuff. And uh, also, I will point out now that I do need to be sending a truck up there to pick up logs. However, given that nobody is actually working here at the moment, the uh, the need for that is not what you might call pressing. So I'm I'm clearly going to have to sort that out as well. It's fine. It's a it's a non-ending thrill ride. Uh, right, you've got some bitumen. You've still got some oil on board. I imagine the f the fuel tank is full at the current time. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Okay. Now the only reason for that is that you're not processing stuff. They're not processing stuff. I see. And how are we do for workers? Not as many as you'd like, but enough to you know keep things ticking along. Yes. Okay. Well, look, he's off. He's uh, he's going, and he'll he'll sell that extra oil, and uh, and we'll make eighty thousand uh, rubles out of the out of the whole thing. Well, that'd be nice. Yep. Yeah, ah, arguably it will be. Uh, give me education, 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 and the kindergartens, please. Flipping kindergarten needs a lot of space. Just get him a porter cabin. Port cabin and some sponge balls. That should be all they require. I mean, they're like two years old for crying out loud. How much amusement do you think they need? Teach them not to stab themselves with scissors, and uh, and you can consider yourself uh, a job well done for the day. Can we get this in here? Needs flat terrain. Well, obviously it needs flat terrain, but uh, are you going to fit or are you going to belly ache about everything? Well, it wouldn't be the only one. <laughs> ah, shut it. Yeah, oh, we, we could stick it out there. That might be in range. Okay, get a road in. Yeah. There you go. Right, road onwards. Yeah, good. Actually, build the road. Thank you. It's because the only thing I don't pay for is bulldozing. That, we, we handle all our own bulldozing. We need no external interlopers for such things. Um, but no, okay, right. We're going to get a kindergarten, which hopefully we'll be able to slide in here. Can't build you to infrastructure. You don't. You shouldn't need to be that far back from the road. Honestly, uh, give me this. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even bringing out my own bulldozers this time. I'm going to use paid corporate bulldozers from corporate people. They're flipping corporate bulldozers. I know. But it's uh, it's all good. There you go. Bring that up to everything. Right. Slap this in here. Do it. Right. Next door, we'll stick a school, and that way they can't complain about that either. Put it far enough away that the no no no, no spin it around. Put it far away enough that you can have the paths talk to each other, so that way they can graduate from one and go straight to the other one. That's thinking. That is efficient education right there. See, just like that. Can you get up here? We can have a good go. You have had a good go and it's worked. All right, put a path in there. That might help someone out somewhere. Stick a path in here too. That will help someone else out somewhere else. That's good. You've given the, the kindergartners, I say, uh, easier access to the pub. They need it. 
learning not to hit yourself with scissors it's uh it's quite an important and uh, and time consuming affair yeah all right next time everybody commuting services by road i've been colonel failure uh i'll do maybe two or three more of these and then uh, and then we'll move on to something different and dramatic uh subscribe if you feel like that's something you can do uh but uh obviously if it's too much work for you then don't no just you know netflix and steam that's really all you need thanks for watching cheerio see i reckon part of the problem is that i've chosen an absolutely rubbish place to start uh, the, there's just that there, there isn't enough space kind of around the outside to expand in a in a radial fashion and instead I'm trying to plunk further and further down the line, which means that those core resources, those core services, are going to be ever more complex to get hold of. Don't know. Um, it's an interesting one. Uh, once the, the snow is awfully pretty. It's very, it's very nice to look at, and uh, and that's that's all jolly good. But I I get a better sense of what's going on when the snow's not there. Uh, so hopefully we'll have a bit of thawing going on, and I'll be able to go. Oh, it's, Oh, I see. And then, uh, and then we'll figure out what happens next. But next time around, most definitely, commuting services. We're going to need it anyway. Might as well, uh, might as well start on that now, and then, uh, and then get it right later. Yeah, you see, see, see. I'm setting it up to do that adequately. Good.